Mini PCs used to kind of not be good. I remember, I had one back in the day. It was awful. Do people actually use them? Are they any good nowadays? We got the Geek Ohm IT13 Mini PC. See if it's any good. Let's get it open, shall we? Here we go. Let's see what we get. What we get. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that little nugget of a PC. It reminds me of my old Game Boy Advance SP. You guys remember those? Oh, it's like blue glitter. Peak. Okay, there's the top. There's your SD card reader. There's your lock. Some ventilation. You have your power. You have your Type-C HDMI 2.5 gig Ethernet. Two USB ports. Another HDMI and another Type-C. This thing has more Type-Cs than my main PC. Look at this little bad boy. See what else we get in the box. We have an HDMI cord. We got some extra screws. We got a big old power adapter. We also get our power cable. The rest of it. Here's the other side of it. Boom. Last but not least, you get your little vase mount plate. If you wanna attach this PC and just like slap it onto the back of your monitor, good to go. All right, let's talk about specs real quick. It supports four 4K screens or one 8K screen. It runs on Intel Iris XE graphics. It's got six USB slots, a headphone jack, an SD card reader, a Kensington lock slot. Okay, it's got 2.5 gig ethernet, Wi-Fi 6E, and Bluetooth 5.2. It's got efficient and quiet cooling with dual copper heat pipes and an optimized fan to maintain its performance. It's got a 3D Wi-Fi antenna. It's got an anti-slip rubber base and a metal chassis resistant to pressures up to 220 kilograms, which is roughly 440 pounds. I don't think we'll be sitting on the PC to test that today, but that's a crazy claim. It comes with Windows 11 Pro. It's also compatible with Linux and other systems as well. You also get Copilot AI. The CPU, it's an Intel i9-13900HK, and that's a 14 core, 20 thread processor with boost clock up to 5.4 gigahertz. Basically, boost clock is the maximum speed that the processor can reach for short periods of time to handle demanding workloads, provided that thermal and power conditions allow it. It's got a 24 megabyte L3 cache. It can significantly speed up tasks like gaming, video editing, and rendering by reducing the processor's wait time for information. So it's kind of like a tiny little, uh, you know, on-demand quick little tiny RAM stick. If you were to compare it to a human body function, I guess it would kind of be like your muscle memory, sort of, where it just stores things away that you don't really have to think about or need. It just kind of you know, it's super quick. It does have some pretty good expandability. It's got an M2 slot. You can put an M2 SATA SSD up to one terabyte. So like I said before, it goes through 339 tests. I was just kind of curious just to see like what they put this thing through. So they do a drop test. They do a temperature and humidity test. They do a port test. So they plug it in and pull it out, plug it in and pull it out. 90 minutes of vibration testing. They do a noise test. They do a salt spray test. It kind of simulates time passing a lot faster because you know, salt water is kind of corrosive so it kind of simulates aging of the product a little bit let's go baby look at the back of this thing dude we're ready to freaking go bro it's so easy it's just open and ready to go bro i got my 2.5 gig ethernet i got my power my hdmi plugged in i got my keyboard plugged in my wireless dongle for my mouse everything's good bro that's it i'm done all right let's boot it up for the first time see what it looks like Whoa, whoa, it's doing it. We're doing it to him. Oh my God, everything just works. Continue in English. Sit back and relax while the magic happens. All right, buddy. Okay, so it's doing a Windows update. So we're just gonna leave it here for a while. We're gonna get some stuff set up. We'll probably download some, all the programs we need. It's gonna take a while. We're gonna get all the testing stuff set up. But here's the setup. It's freaking beautiful. <laughs> Let me look at that. It's just so clean. Just take a moment to really appreciate that. That is just one of a kind. Let's get that stuff downloaded and I'll uh, be back in just a few minutes. Let's just do a multi-core test. All right, so we're gonna let this run for about 10 minutes and then we'll see how it goes. All right, there you go. There's the Cinebench test. We got 11,748. Um, a couple different things. They didn't really go into the BIOS at all. I don't really expect people to buy like mini PCs to be going into the BIOS or anything like that. So this is just how it comes stock. There I am. Number four on the list of, I don't know, not bad. The guy above me, he's got two more cores. I'll take it. Cinebench, done. Good job. I, it did a lot better than I expected, to be honest. I got gig internet, so let's see if we can get the gig.
Hey, anything in the 900s, I'll take it. I always got good upload too. Streamers beware. Look at that upload. That's pretty good. All right, let's run uh, Let's run 3D Mark real quick. I don't know if you have to pay for this or not. If I had to pay for this, then I'm out. But scanning system info. Take it all, bro. Well, there's a little more information for you there. We have our CPU 13 Gen, Intel Core i9, 13900HK, 2600 megahertz. And then you have your 952 gig or your one terabyte Lexar SSD. Like I said, if you wanted to increase your speed on your RAM, then you can enable XMP in your BIOS, but I'm not going to be messing with the BIOS settings or anything like that. You could link up a video. Maybe I'll leave a link for one, but I don't personally go into the BIOS really. So, okay, let's do benchmark for lightweight PC. See what we got going. Steel Nomad Light benchmark. My score, 1157, average 1232, so we're a little bit below average, but the best one overall is 1400. <laughs> it was averaging about 8.5 FPS. Yeah, you could definitely get more out of it if you enable XMP. Okay, anyways, so there you go. It's great, it's not ideal for heavy graphic intensive games, but for little games, you know, it's pretty good. Hey, we're gonna do this Black Myth Wukong benchmark. This is a good way to test whether your computer can run Black Myth Wukong, and it's a super graphically intensive game, so I figured it's a good good test. If this thing can run Black Myth Wukong, it can probably run anything, dude. Come on, brother. Dirty. That's 30. That's a lot smoother. That's with VSync on. Oh, there's a little bit. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty steady, like almost 30 FPS. Yes, yeah, Disney speed storm time. I'm going. I'm out of here, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, this is mad usable. Wait a minute. That's really weird to do. Control. Oh my God, I can't hit that. Oh. I gotta use both hands on the keyboard. I'm locked. Get wrecked. Wait, that hurt me, bro? I'm hitting them. I got... Why did that not do anything? Hey, bro. Relax, dude. You're wrecked, bro. Ow! Yes! Mickey Mouse number one! Yes! Dude, look at the graphics on this game. Actually, like... Not bad at all. Anyways, those little games like that, those are the best ones to play on a mini PC. They're really good. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's not a super graphically intensive game, but games like that, you just be like number one. Like if you wanna play a bunch of mobile games, wanna play pretty much anything from 2015 and below, it should be run, run perfectly fine. Let's roll, baby. We made it. Welcome to a full full tour. There's tons to see, do, and shred here on the Isle of Grom. Let's go. Okay, to get you rolling, you'll need a skateboard. Fortunately, the local skate shop, Extrovert, has the complimentary one waiting for you at the top of that building. Onward! As soon as I stop walking, it just... <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Hey, it works, bro. This ain't bad, dude. Look at this. I'm playing a game. On a PC, that's like super tiny. To a world of fun. Let's go. Oh, what do I do? I don't know what to do. Ooh. Local knowledge update. Resilience is Sandman's secret superpower. What am I doing? Part of the tour is about carving and board control. Look at that, dude. Look at that. Look at that. That's peak skateboards. 
<laughs> Literally, it looked like I landed fine, and then I came. Whoa! It looked like I lit. What's up, dude? I think I might have a little stick drift, guy. <laughs> See what I mean? Streaming, business stuff, emails, literally the best thing ever. You can just take it with you wherever you go and you can take this, you can just have this. Look at that. Look at that little nugget. Whoa. There's freaking entrances in there. It looks so good. Yes. Good job, Geeko. That's Quisp. That's YouTube for you. No drop frames. It looks beautiful. 4K video, no problemo. All right, well, that was best mini PC of 2025. I think the statement still stands. It's a mini PC. It doesn't have space for a massive GPU, so you get what you can get. But it can play your basic games. It can play really, it can play good games, just really low settings. Overall, like I couldn't play Marvel Rivals because it didn't meet the minimum. It ran Black Myth Wukong. It did good on the, it did good on all the testing. So definitely exceeded my expectations. I really like this thing. I don't know what else to say. You guys did a banger of a job. Many PCs have definitely come a long way since I was first introduced to them a long time ago. Like if you want to run like little games or like Nintendo Switch type games or like uh, Peak or, or like little horror games or you know, anything that isn't too graphically intensive, you should be able to run it no problem. So I definitely highly recommend checking it out. It's basically a laptop, but better, but without the screen and stuff, you get your own stuff. Essentially the same thing, a little bit better than the laptop, definitely better than my laptop. 32 gigs of RAM, terabyte SSD, 14 cores, 20 threads is no joke. Intel Core i9, 13900HK is a crazy thing to be putting into a tiny little PC like this. Definitely check it out. I left a link for all this stuff in the video. So that's pretty much it. Thanks Geekom. Bye. Smash like, subscribe, check out Tech Review Playlist. Thanks for watching my first ever PC review. It's been great. So I appreciate you guys watching. Anybody that's out there, thanks. Appreciate the support. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.